Hey guys, Jeremy here from How To Hockey. We're here at Jake's Pro Shop at Lakewood Ice in California. I'm working on installing the Mars Blades with Pear, the owner of Mars Blades. So can you tell me a bit, a bit about the product? So the Mars Blade uh, roller frames uh, are designed to help improve your skating technique uh, when you don't have uh, access to ice or just want to be mm -hmm. off the ice and still get the same feel as being on the ice. Yeah, I've uh, used them before and I notice it's just that rockering effect that just gives you a little bit more challenge but also feels a lot more like ice so definitely do notice it yeah yeah it's an awesome training tool so the the upper chassis is rounded and mm -hmm. the bottom is flat mm -hmm. so it gives you gives you that uh, rocker to to simulate the ice feel so all right so in order to use these you have to put them on your skates first so i've got a, just a boot and we're working on installing the chassis to the boot and also worth uh, mentioning is that uh, the frames fits uh, any any roller or uh, ice hockey boot, so yeah. it doesn't have to be a, a specific brand or... Nice, yeah, you just put it right on there and, and drill the holes and you're good to go. Yep. Yeah. So, so what I usually do is uh, I drill one hole and mm -hmm. mount the, the rivet into to one uh, to have it uh, fixed mm -hmm. and then I go uh, and and drill the, the other holes. All right, so it's not shifting around. Yeah. That way all the holes will line up properly. Yeah. That's a good idea. All right, so we got the chassis mounted. Looking good. We need some wheels on these. Yeah. So uh, let's grab the wheels and we'll get them installed and go for a rip. Yeah. All right, so wheels are pretty standard to install. Yeah. I guess some guys might not be too familiar with inline, so uh, can you walk us through the process? Yeah, sure. Uh, so we're going to start uh, with uh, installing the, the bearings uh, to the wheel. So we have uh, two bearings uh, in one wheel. So just push that in there. And then we have a bearing spacer. Mm -hmm. You put it inside uh, the wheel here. And then you have uh, put the, the other bearing on the other side. Make sure to, to push it so it spins good. Um, then you just put it uh, in the lower frame. You have uh, so on the wheel axis here we have uh, one square side mm -hmm. and uh, one rounded side. So it's important that you that you put them on the right side. Yeah, you want to make <laughs> sure that the square piece goes in the square hole. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So just put them in there. Uh, then you can use this uh, multi tool that's included in the box mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, tighten it. How tight are we going there? Uh, you can you can do it pretty tight, uh, uh, but you don't have to overdo it. Yeah. If you put the wheel axle on the on the, the right side, there's going to be uh, a good tension even without you. So you don't have to force it mm -hmm. too much. Yeah. Great. Right. Awesome. So we got them installed, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, one thing that's uh, good to know is that you can adjust. Uh, the tension of the, the rocker. Mm -hmm. So with this uh, multi-tool, you can uh, reach the, the bolt here in the center between the center wheels. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, adjust that. So if you tighten it, the rocker will be stiffer. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you loosen it, it will obviously will be. Right, so for, for training, having a looser will give you more of a challenge. And if yeah. you're gonna be playing, you might wanna tighten it up Yeah. Uh, just to, give you more uh, performance advantage. Yeah, uh, it's basically personal preference. Okay. Uh, Great. Let's take these out and shoot some videos. Yeah. 